Yuki, fortunately, those two officers who are hurt, not life-threatening injuries, taking in Ahmad Rahami. You can see behind me the evidence markers in the intersection that are commonly used to put where there are bullet casings. Witnesses describe seeing bullets flying as there was a foot chase down the street. But it all started with a local business owner who reported some suspicious activity. Seen this guy with a, with a blue hoodie on. Jack Mazza was walking from the auto shop where he works to the corner store when he saw a man sleeping in the doorway to Murdy's Tavern. He didn't think too much about it until the bar owner walked up feeling concerned. But Harry says it's, it's the bombing guy. I said, how, how do you know it's the bombing guy? He said, no, that's him, that's him. I said, well, call the cops then if it's him. Around 1045, two Linden police officers arrived and recognized that it was, in fact, bombing suspect Ahmad Rahami. Authorities say he had a gun and started shooting at the officers. They did exchange gunfire. One officer was struck um, in the admin, but into his bulletproof vest. The other um, had some glass that struck his forehead, but not into his skull. The shooting continued for more than a block on Elizabeth Avenue in Linden. You see him running between the, the telephone pole and the, and the brown van. And all of a sudden, you hear a lot of, a lot of gunfire. Police shot Rahami at least once in the leg and were able to take him into custody. The FBI says this is a case of the community being the eyes and ears they need after releasing a picture. We turned to the general public this morning uh, by utilizing that picture and getting that picture out there uh, so that the general public could, could assist us. This is crazy. I mean, you're, where are you safe today? The FBI says it's too soon to know if Rahami was self-radicalized or if he acted on his own. They say now that they have him in custody, they begin the task of building out his potential network as they learn more about this U.S. citizen from Afghanistan descent. Reporting live in Linden, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you for that. Stay with Eyewitness News.